New York City's Le Bernardin has been awarded three Michelin stars for 18 consecutive years. It's listed as the number three best restaurant in the world by the French group La Liste, number three on the New York Times best restaurant of this year, and ranks 44 on the world's 50 best restaurants. Sea bass tartare, pomaggio on the side, and then they lobster bisque. Perfectly salted, fresh fish. Simple, yummy little starter. <laughs> nice cucumber on the back of it. It's beautiful, as you would expect. A little hamachi bite. It's very subtle, it's very light. Very nice, very fresh. Even the temperature actually is perfect. All three of these are beautiful. The original Le Bernardin opened in Paris in 1972 by siblings Maggie and Gilbert Lacoste. The siblings received their first star in 1976, their second in 1980, and it was only after they achieved three stars when they decided to open in New York City. We don't know what kind of butter this is. Nobody told us, and we don't know if anything's coming with the bread. We just have bread. So I will be honest, this is the first time out of all of our restaurant experiences where we have received a lot of energy. We've only had the amuse bouche. Very intrigued about the service here. It's not what you'd expect. I'm having a lot of stink eye. It's not welcoming. I don't feel comfortable. This is what it is. <laughs> Tuna tartare. There's a little piece of brioche on top. Uni and then the caramelized onion. The broth is a beef consomme. So the uni just makes a dish. It is the freshest, creamiest. Everything else is perfect quality. The consomme is super light and just this very refreshing sauce to go on top. You can't argue with the quality. Holy moly. There is nothing on that plate that's not exceptional. Oh, that uni is insane. It's like the pinnacle of all three of these ingredients. I've never tasted cleaner tartare. I've never tasted more beautiful uni. Wow. Okay. Okay. We'll see. Okay. A stretch of caviar is, is, is a stretch of caviar. Like, you, you scoop it out of a jar, but the scallop, man, I don't know. Caviar, amazing. Can't complain. That sauce is beautiful. It's very buttery. It's very rich. It's very creamy. Beautiful chives in it. The scallop almost tastes like it's not there. there. It's very, very light. It's very bland. Hopefully for a little bit more and a little bit more like innovation and creativity. Of course, too, the attitude has not left. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable sitting here tonight. <laughs> this dish is a lobster carpaccio. They've got grapes, they have a fennel salad, and then the top is like a grape sabayon. So grapes, egg yolks. Sabayon is always like super rich and super heavy and egg yolk and full of flavor and depth. This one is very light. I was expecting a little bit more richness and depth. It's almost as one dimensional. I agree with you. It's just, I don't taste grape. I don't taste really a lot of sabayon. The lobster tastes boiled. Everything here is just clean. Classic, incredible ingredients. Done right, done well, not exciting. That's the theme. So far, so far, we'll see. Head chef Eric Riper grew up in Antibes, France. He attended culinary school in Perpignan, and at the age of 17, he was able to convince famed restaurant La Tour d'Argent Paris to work for them. Chef Riper worked his way up to famed three-star restaurant Jamin in France under the world-famous Joel Rubichon. Riper moved to New York City in 1991, working briefly with David Bouley, and then took the helm as executive chef at Le Bernardin in 1994 after the unexpected passing of Gilbert Lacoste. Langoustine, aged balsamic, and then a truffle foam that they put on top. It's beautiful. It's really cute. It's dainty. These are personal opinions. This is not a dish that I enjoy. <laughs> the aged balsamic just, it leaves like a very interesting, funny, not as pleasant taste on my tongue. It almost tastes like burnt hot chocolate. The langoustine is perfectly poached. I don't get the sauce. I don't taste truffle. I don't taste the aged balsamic vinegar. I taste aged something, but not balsamic vinegar. I don't like it. The only thing in that dish I like is the, is the langoustine, which is poached perfectly. There you go. Yeah, because I'm getting glared at by like four people right now. So we appreciate where we are. We appreciate spending time with these restaurants. It's not cheap to be here. And you expect a certain level of just service and appreciation and kindness from the staff and just like a, a freaking smile. <laughs> I would eat that every day. That's, that's goddamn delicious. Beautiful, it's dainty, it smells delicious. 
The quality of the fish is amazing. The Bourguignon is OG. It's very hard to argue with the absolute best of every single ingredient you could possibly ever imagine in the world put on one table, which is what this is. It's very uncomfortable for us to give a restaurant like Le Bernard in anything but glowing reviews. Doing this in part feels like an act of social media suicide. There were elements about this place we loved, and there was elements we were surprised were just not up to the caliber of other three Michelin restaurants we visited. Like always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and take care of yourselves. Layla, we have an announcement, folks. We have an announcement.